Hello everyone and welcome back to this next match, next Harbin match, Ham, uh, Harbin United versus uh, Gedling Miners Welfare um, on the 4th of December 2021, uh, obviously a UCL League 1 Division 1 match here at the Community Stadium Dickens Road Grantham. The last game before Christmas, so happy holidays everyone. Hope you all have a very good holiday and celebration for whatever you celebrate, being, you know, Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. Hope you have a good holiday. Captain's just doing the handshakes and we should be getting underway soon. Once again, I have the team sheets, so I should know pretty much everyone here hopefully it seems to be gedling to kick off just doing some kiki ups and just tricks with the ball save the skills for the uh for the game itself Rest making sure everyone is okay, and off we go. Gedling immediately trying to make an attack as they, um, uh, you know, so often do. That's gone out though for a Harabi throw in. Number nine for Harabi goes back to the number three who boots it up. That's going to be a throw into the Reds or Gedling. Because Gedling's such a, well, for me, is a little bit of a hard word to say. I think I'll just call them the Reds. Also handball there, it looked all good. Harabi knocked that up. Can they make an attack here? Not if the Reds clear that and look to go upfield. Number nine for Harabi has that right now. The Reds steal it back with number three with a brilliant interception there. Looks to find the man on the right. The number seven for Harabi goes in, crosses into the middle, has a shot on goal there, and that was just left of the goal there. Very close chance for Harabi in the opening stages. The Reds going to take a goal kick here. We seem to have a battle of Star Wars at the moment. Blue shirts going up against red shirts. Obviously in Star Wars, you know, the light side are blue and the dark side are red. Debatable. Because, you know, some Jedis have green and purple and things like that, but... But it's not Star Wars or fighting, it's football. Number red there, for, has a shot there. I think that was probably deflected from a defender. I don't think it was the goalkeeper that deflected that. But the reds get that back into the box again. Harry man-headed that away. Harabi still trying to keep possession there, but it seems like the Reds are going to get that back. Take the throw in. Not too sure what's going on. There it is. With Jack Gurney right now. 
Trying to find Kamal, but it finds one of the reds, number eight. With it right now, goes into the number 10. Back to the number eight. Crosses it in. The number five for Harabi heads that away. Dragoni can chase that down. The number six grabs it back. Oh, down there, yeah. Wasn't fully brought down though, but it did seem like a, a bit of a rough challenge. Oh, there's a bit of rain on the lens, hold on. It seems to be raining here. We just grab that off, there we go. It seems like it is raining then, I can't actually... Um, I can't actually feel anything. Goes into the box there. Number two tried something skilled there, but didn't work. No, on that kick there, you have three men on you. So that means two of the two of us aren't doing our job, man, Marcus. Come on, Marcus. I'll be here to take the take the goal kick. You need two men with Doesn't find anyone. The Reds win that back. Number four steals that back for Harapi, goes to one of the defenders who boots it up to try to find the number nine. Number nine on the left here, crosses it in. Race just intercept that back, thankfully for them, stopping Harapi with a goal of scoring opportunity. The Reds still keep it in a very crucial part of the pitch. The Reds seeming very quick. Goes back. Four down there. I think that could have been a foul there, in my opinion. Harvey boot that up now. But the Reds just very good with their uh, with their defence. If Harvey do break through, though, I think the Reds could be could find themselves in trouble. Harvey did have a game here two weeks ago. At home, I wasn't able to make that one, unfortunately. But uh, unfortunately, Harabi lost 4-2. And I thought we were going to win that one because that's what usually happens when I'm at a Harabi game. Well, especially last season, we, uh, we kept losing our games. Tackle. Great tackle. Oh, tackle there, but the ref blows for that. I mean, it was a shove to be fair, but I don't know. I mean, I do agree with the Harabi a bit, but then to the same extent, I do agree with the ref a little bit as well. Like, we don't like to see, you know, people like shoving and things like that on a football pitch, but that's pretty much how you play the game, to be fair, but... Ref's decision is final, and as I said, you know, I do partly agree with him on that, on that decision. Get out! Down the left hand side here. Well done. Well done. 
No penalty given there because there wasn't any sort of contact. Into the middle there. Jack Gurney here with some speed and some skill. Turns back to Harrison D, I think. Or D Harrison. Number seven has a breakthrough here. Has a shot there, and that is just to the left of the goal. From the trajectory, I thought that was actually in. Harvey showing that uh, they're not going to slow down, I don't think. Having one great chance, but I think, once again, I think the Reds have troubled us. Or troubled Harrowby as well. Yeah, it did look like a bit of a handball there, but it was more of an arm ball, really. I don't think there's such terminology as arm ball in football. Of course, for handball once again. Ref signalling it was the chest instead. The Reds still have it. Out there. The Reds have a throw in. Can they start an attack? We're in play with the number eight. Crosses it into the middle there. There is some space. Is there going to be a shot? The number eight does have a go there. Blocked by the number five. And Harvey keep that one. Harvey still have it, but the Reds shortly grab that back. We're still with Harvey. Number seven's through there. This could be a great chance. Number seven still has it, passes it to the number eight, goes back to the number 10, to the right. A shot on goal there, just to the right there, left there again. However, United are seeming strong with their attack and play, but they just can't find the back of the net. And they do need to uh, focus on their accuracy a bit. I do apologise about the wind, it is quite a, you know, windy day. Yeah, very cold as well. I'm literally in about five layers and I'm still struggling to keep my uh, left hand warm. Number seven here again with another chance. The Reds are falling asleep with their defence. Number two, I think that was down the right hand side, but the Reds just clear that. Throw in to come for Harabi. Could this be the chance that they need? From what I've seen from the Reds so far, I think Harabi could well and truly exceed in this match. Like, could potentially be like a, uh, a six goal thriller, maybe. But we'll have to see as the game progresses. Harvey still there. Goes back to Jack Gurney there. Of course, we're offside there. The number nine for Harvey still has it. Finds the number eight. Oh, has a shot there. Goes through the legs of the defender, but that's enough to send it out for a corner. Set piece here for Harvey. Can they turn this into a goal? Harvey, I'd say. Uh, are not terribly great at corners. Oh, 
but they're not the worst in the league from what I've seen. They've only scored a few goals from corners this season. Again, from the matches I've seen. Into the box there, keeper catches that, as I thought it would. Shot just seemed to find the goalkeeper's hands. And lets them settle. Chooses to go short. with the ball once again. It's gone down the right hand side. We don't know what's going on. I think it's gone out because none of the players are running around like headless chickens right now. Now they are. And that's why. Great. Uh, challenge there from the captain of Harrowby to clear that away, but it's now back out. I think Harrowby throw in here by the positioning of the players. Jack Gurney sends that down. Can the number nine grab get there? But the number five for the Reds just seems to be very quick. That's gone up high and wide. That's going to go out there. Harrowby throw in. Of course. on that decision but we go again it wasn't a massive dangerous area so it's all good number 11 there and the reds on the right hand side not sure what's going on i think it's out for a corner Corner to come. How are the Reds with their uh, with their set pieces? Oh, it's colder today. Cold and windy. And it is uh, actually starting to rain as well. Gurney can break here. Close the number seven as I struggle to see with the rate. Harvey with a really good chance here to score. Finds Jack Gurney. Goes to the right. The rain is here. Harvey seems to do play good in the rain. Number nine has a shot there. Blocked by the defence. It is really cold here, guys. <laughs> I bought my sunglasses. I don't think I'll be needing them, but honestly, I'm starting to think otherwise. <laughs> it might actually keep, you know, my eyes. Okay. Let's actually see if they do actually make a difference. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's have a go. I can't really see anything, you know, in these, you know, like massively, but we'll see. It's going to look weird, but hopefully it, ma it makes a difference. Oh, 
That's up there. And out. Jesus Christ, the wind! <laughs> Are we in a tornado or something? It certainly feels like it. The moon's going to be moving around in the air, I think. Bit of red on the lens again. I will clean it, you know, when we get a chance. That's gonna go up. Is that gonna hit the stand? Yeah. Clean the lens. Goalkeeper's gonna go ahead and grab that. But yeah, thankfully. The lens that I'm using now has a flat lens, so it's easy to clean than, you know, the camcorder I was using before where the lens was an indent. It was much harder to clean that one. Jack good, eh? Sends through the number nine there, caught offside. Jack! Good attempt. I'm going to need some another glove on because it's just too cold. <laughs> it just means I won't be able to use my phone to look at the team sheet. But it's, honestly, it's just so cold. <laughs> Get my hand in there. It's so cold. <laughs> honestly, it's... It's what we should be used to here in, you know, Brown, but honestly, it's not. Especially with it being winter as well. I mean, honestly, it's almost as cold for snow, or probably we can have snow. It is on genuinely that cold. We did actually have snow two days ago. It didn't, you know, it wasn't as you know, big to, you know, like set or anything, but. Yeah, we have had snow already this year. The rest still have the ball here anyway. Honestly, I feel for the players down there, honestly. It must be freezing for them, absolutely freezing. I mean, they are running around and, you know, getting warm, but still that, you know, that's gonna be freezing. The number seven here for the red steals it. Number 11 goes to chase that down the right hand side. Into the middle. Good clearance there for Harrowby. Job still not done yet. Does the red still have it? It's the number seven who has it at the moment. On number one. Harrowby clear that. Play. Play. Goes back to Jack Gurney, he seems to be playing in you know, like a midfield position. I think Harrowby have found on, probably two, you know, more strikers. It's down the right hand side here. The rest tried to challenge there. I think it's the number two on the right hand side. Good clearance there from the Reds. The Reds here with an attack now as well. Into the box there. The Red couldn't get there, but if they did, could have been could have been trouble. Players down here. I think we need some uh, some medical attention. Or are they getting up? I don't know where they went down. Maybe an earlier challenge or something like that, but I'm not too sure. They are going to go off with some treatment, or maybe let's just say uh, a bit of impact in the uh, not spoken area. And also, I don't know about you, but I think the um, I think the coat that the other team's physio, I guess, is wearing. I think the coat's probably just a bit too big for them. But it's probably actually good in this weather because it is freezing. 
as I've said many times. Drop ball here. Oh, Jack Gurney's here. Has a shot. Is that in? Oh, and that's just in off the post there. Jack Gurney with his first of the game. And it's 1 0 to Haraby. Can Haraby keep this lead or maybe push for more? And get three points. Currently, those three points are going to Haraby. Jack Gurney finding a break, going past the defence, smashes it to the left of the keeper and in off the post. Great goal. Oh gosh. <laughs> Big gust of wind there. The Reds kick off once again after that goal and that's just gone straight <laughs> past the red there. I honestly don't know how the, how the guys, you know, feel down there in, you know, these conditions. It is absolutely freezing. I don't think snow can be made. I think it's more like ice. I really wish I bought, a, you know, a flask with me, you know, with maybe a hot drink. It is absolutely freezing. That's out there. I did say, how have we seen two do play good in uh, rainy conditions? But I think the whole of England should be good at playing in these conditions because that's effectively the British weather. <laughs> the Reds still trying to find a goal as they do need one but Harvey seeming to be just a little bit better than the Reds at the moment that finds the number nine Jack Gurney's on the left ref calls for a, a foul there foul towards Harvey though so all right he saw something that I haven't Number seven there for Harabi down the right hand side. Number six has that for Harabi right now, goes to the number eight. Finds Jack Gurney down the left hand side. Can Jack Gurney find it to the goal? Has a shot there, that's just going up and wide, and probably the window is affecting that one. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's another funny um, video I've seen on social media. It was a goal kick, the keeper kicked it, and because of how extreme the wind was, the wi you know, the wind just took the ball and went back into the net, and the goalkeeper scored an own goal when he wasn't even pointing the goal. <laughs> it was quite hilarious. Arabi can grab that, the number seven does. Tries to find the number nine. But the Reds grab that and it's a cold kick down the field. And the Reds could be through here actually. That if Daniel Harvey aren't careful. I can't really see the numbers right now because my grass my glasses are steaming up slightly. Into the box. That's just to the right. 
as we're about 30 minutes through the first half-ish or approaching the 30 minute mark me not feeling my fingers at all I don't think my uh, I don't think you can either so that's going to be a bit of a challenge getting down here today <laughs> I mean, I never really, you know, properly lose feeling, you know, in my fingers. They just, the sense just gets weaker. I think I'm actually going to, you know, lose the, you know, you know, lose the feeling in my hands. I think double, I think double gloves next time is probably a way to go. Or more thicker ones. But that is after Christmas. The next home game, I think, is on the 28th of December. So still in the holiday season. And then I think it's the week after that on the Saturday, then we're back here. I'm over the Tuesday. The Reds have a shot there, just to the left. I think we do have another Tuesday game Harabi do. I can't exactly remember which day it is, but we do have another one. It might be on the 9th of January. I'm not too sure. I, re I remember it being quite early in January, but I can't exactly remember. I mean, judging by, you know, the lighting right now, I mean, people would think that this is a night game. <laughs> Certainly in summer, I would agree with them, but honestly, you know, January, you know, next year, you know, when we do film that night game, it's going to be pitch black. Jack Gurney here, who could have found a Harvey Man, but doesn't. The Reds seem to find some pace here, finding some energy. Come on, board down there. Foul awarded to the Reds. Wait, wait, is it? Wait, is it? Wait, what is even happening? No, it's a foul to Haru. Wait, is it a foul to Harabi or a foul to the Reds? What is happening? Made a mistake. Oh, okay. So, it is a foul to the Reds, so however you take the free kick. I've been confused enough already today. <laughs> I don't think I need to be confused even more. Jack Gurney here with a ball. Goes down the left hand side to the number three. Into the box there. The number nine has that. Has a shot though, but I think it's called offside. Still one nil. I honestly felt, you know, sympathy for all the players down there. Honestly, it is so cold. <laughs> I can't emphasize how cold it is. That's gonna go up to the thing. Yeah, right above me. I'm glad there's a roof. The Reds here, who could actually have a chance here. Not if Harvey do that, but it is go actually going to be still a Reds throw in. No foul. Push it out. Time, time, time. That's done. Good, good shape. Good shape. Well done. Someone's phone has just gone off. That's not thunder. If that's thunder, then. 
I don't even know. Harvey still have the ball here. Oh my god. It's so cold. I repeat that so many times. I know this is, I know this is going to be totally exaggerated, but honestly, it feels like minus two. It does actually. Okay, the, the, actually, it does actually feel like minus two. Honestly, when we came down here, it said it was like six degrees, but it feels like zero. It didn't even feel too bad when I walked out. Oh, so now I'm here and I'm just like, oh my god, it's freezing! Oh my god. The Reds have it here. How are we going to make a move here? The Reds steal that back. Oh, the Reds are through here. The number 14 calls for offside there. Flag stays down. 14 has a shot there. Save from the goalkeeper though. Good save there from McGann. I think I've said that name correctly. Good header there. But doesn't find anyone. Foul there. I'm sorry if I'm a bit late with the movements of the camera, because but obviously my hands are dead. <laughs> and I think my brain's starting to freeze up a little bit, which is not good. <laughs> You know, you know when you have a cold drink or like an ice drink and you get a brain and you get a brain freeze. It's much worse than that. <laughs> you know, being a bit of a while for the signal to go from my brain to my muscles. The motorway has traffic. <laughs> How are we there though? Could have been on an attack after you know. Uh, I guess a shot on goal on the other side just moments ago. Round there. Number nine here. Still with the Reds, I think. Brought down there. The Reds screaming for a penalty, but the ref's not giving it. It didn't look overly rough, but there definitely was, you know, the contact was definitely made. Into the box there again. Is that cause for a handball there? It looked like it hit the hand. I think I need to start wearing double layers on my um on my trousers. Mm -hmm. oh, no. That's out there. 
40 minutes of the first half. I think we've got about five minutes remaining. the second half I I don't know if I'll do commentary I don't know slide in there but yeah I might just try and focus on just staying warm for the second half and not really commentating I mean I mean I might see if I can do a bit but might not be a lot or any and then you know I'll just you know just show you what's going on anyway that's not in <laughs> my eyes are deceiving me back to Star Wars quote use the force has it gone in or not well, then I should be able to use my Jedi mind tricks of, you know, moving the goal into the ball, or, you know, moving the, moving the ball into the goal, not moving the goal into the ball, because that doesn't make sense. Number 11 has that right now. In. Good save from the keeper who spilled it. Pulled down again there. Keep. The ref is still playing advantage there. I do actually kind of agree with the res there that that probably should have been a penalty, but Harabi here on the other side. Harabi looking to counter on that. The reds do clear it. And the keeper's going to get that. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the, the Reds should have probably have had a penalty there. I mean, I do agree with them. Harvey in the box here. Kamal has a shot there. Try, I think he tried to find Gurney, but couldn't. But it's going to be a goal kick for the Reds. I've completely forgotten their actual name at this point. <laughs> Gedling. Uh, yeah, Gedling might as well for okay, I remember myself. I was like, it's a, it's a tongue twister to say that. That's up there. Out. And as I think we're approaching the end of the first half, a bit of extra time to be played as well. Mar rushes to get that. Has it. Try to find the captain actually. Wait, no, that's not the captain. The captain's back there. What am I saying? <laughs> Number seven, I think, is what you know is what I was saying. Get out! How we still have that? Close the gap! Hey! Close the gap! How we rush to get that? The number seven is quick. Has a lump there, is that in? Oh, that was just to the left. 
how it could have been a goal of the season if that went in. You know, holding his time and, you know, getting past that defender with some speed and then, you know, to, able, you know, to just simply lob that into the goal. I think that, that could have been a, you know, a good goal. Caught on camera as well. What's going on here? I think Harvey still have it. Out there, foul. Jack Gurney takes the free kick, he's in the box there, catches by the goalkeeper and the ref brings the first off there with Harrogate United leading 1-0 to Gedling United, no Gedling might as well fair, nil. No. 